them all grazing across the clearing there, and there are a couple more in front of us, and they're obviously all heading that way, or the little one was just sleeping in the shade. Sweet. So peaceful when they want to be, and so deeply unpeaceful when they want to be. But these ones seem to be in a relative state of peace. Feeding, and you can see the ground on which they're feeding, of course, is almost denuded of vegetation. They're picking up the last scraps, they're picking up the odd forb. And a forb, of course, is a sort of unidentified herbaceous plant, like a flower, really. But they still maintain a little bit of moisture in them, and that's why the elephants will be trying to pick out those. And they won't be taking anything. I mean, they are highly selective about what they eat. Isn't that a lovely sort of scene with the deep blue winter sky, the last bits of green and those great grey giants? Gently walking off in an easterly direction. Away from the soon to be setting sun. Now, David, here come a few more across the road. Looks like a big bull at the back there. That's quite interesting. Big bull lurking with the herd. He'll be probably, or if he's not in must, he'll be coming into must and he'll be seeking out an oestrus female. Now look at the difference between them now. The big bull behind, the cow there. Look how flat her back is in comparison with him, how her belly is less rounded, her forehead much more square. And they will tell you also that a female's tusks grow down more than they grow forward, and in this case it's completely rubbish. You can see those tusks are growing forward, but they are definitely thinner at the base than a bull's will be. Also, I mean, massive size, but when you come across one of those fellows, I mean, he's a, he's a good third again, 30% larger than the cows. He's a magnificent chap. Not the biggest ivory in the world. But look how graceful that six-ton animal is. Right, let's go a little bit forward. We might be lucky to get another view. I don't think of him, but we've certainly still got a very nice view of the ones off to the left-hand side of us. I'll just turn a little bit. See how there's no grass on this ground at all? None hot so ever. And that is going to make for tough times for the grazers. I'm just quickly going to give an update to Lex.